Hey everybody, what's going on? Josh here with Scrapyard Films, and today I got another Vegas Pro 17 tutorial for you. In this one, I'm going to be teaching you about the new plugin, Mesh Warp. And if you don't know what Mesh Warp is, it's basically a plugin that allows you to apply a grid of various sizes to an image or video and mess with the points and animate them if you want, but basically distort the image by pinpoints. So without further ado, let's get into it. Okay, so we have Vegas Pro 17 open and I got some test footage in here I'm going to show you. I'm going to play this for you. And then I make a bunch of different faces, which are probably going to look funny after we apply this. So to do that, if you go to your plugins and video effects tab and then search for mesh warp, we could just type M-E-S-H and that'll filter it down to mesh warp. We grab that one and just drag the default preset on there. And that'll load up your video event effects window. And from here you can customize the mesh warp. And right off the bat it has them locked in so it's going to produce the same amount of grid size the more you drag this slider. And you can drag it all the way up to 20 by 20, which is a lot of points. But to make things easy, I'm going to go ahead and do this 8 by 8 right here. You can uncheck this and drag these sliders individually to create more spots on Y and or X. So I'm just going to keep it 8 by 8 for right now. And all you do after that is go over to your video preview and just drag these around. Make yourself look all wonky. <laughs> Alright, there we go. I officially look like some crazy alien. So I'm going to close this and play it. But be aware, if you mess with the grid size, and then as soon as you mess with your first point, it's locked in and you can't adjust the grid size anymore. So you have to reset the mesh and then go from there. So I'm going to do 8, and I'm going to do 3. And then you can also load up the little animate tab down here. And if you have this little button enabled, your slider in your timeline matches your slider on your timeline for your video event, which makes it really easy to line up things you want. So to start it off, I'm going to insert a blank keyframe, then I'm going to move to my first face, which is right there, and let's drag this around. And then from there, let's move to my second face, let's make me look angry. <laughs> Just squeeze my face in. And then the third one, move to that other face right here, let's bring this out, give me a real wide stance, bam. And let's close that and see what it looks like. And you can see there's a little bit of weird flickering in there. And like right here, you'll see the microphone kind of glitch out a little bit. And that kind of stuff happens a little bit throughout this when you're doing the animation part. But if you mess with the grid, and then you get your face looking like this. Uh, but yeah, if you mess with the grid, you're going to notice, watch it, we pull stuff apart. You're going to see kind of weird distortion around my neck right there. You saw that. It's going to flip back like between certain parts in your video you're going to see flickering and distortion and that's just the program trying to calculate what you want so it is going to be a little bit funky in some ways but for the most part it's going to make pretty awesome phases like this one i think i'm going to make this the thumbnail but go ahead and play around with that it's a really fun tool to play with and you can make a lot of crazy looking faces and it's pretty simple to use so if this video helped you out be sure to leave a like down there maybe even subscribe if you wanted i got a ton of other vegas 17 pro tutorials on my channel scrapyard films so swing by there maybe you'll find something you like but thanks again for watching guys and i'll see y'all in the next video